The stage is being set for the final performance of the year. It's motor enthusiast's dream come true. High-tech racers turning out hundreds of horsepower. Man against machine. Man against the elements. You are part of the premier motor event of 1988. presents the Coors Super Series of Mud Racing World Championships. The object of the game, you go as fast through the mud pit as you possibly can. This is mud racing time, are you ready? When you get up on the starting line and they give you that green flag, it's all up to you then. And you just go for 100%. is to get through the 100 foot mud pit faster than anybody else. Ladies, get out! Here comes Hyperactive! It's fun and it's scary. Adrenaline's pumping. I mean, my heart's beating a thousand miles an hour. You're just uh, trying to be as safe as possible along with being as fast as possible. You gotta compete with the guys and you gotta drive well enough that you can beat them. And right behind her comes her husband, Jim Harbaugh. No sure thing. If anybody can win from the fastest guy going to the slowest guy going, it depends on the brakes, it depends on where you draw. They do it every weekend. Next weekend they'll be in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Most of these races here. The cleanup time afterwards is just amazing. It takes hours to clean them, and you never do get all the mud on. time to correct it. To win to lose is within hundreds of a second. So you know you don't want to let off the throttle. So you just hope it goes straight and you nail it. Hang on. Did I all over with in less than three seconds. It takes a lot of money to get into it, and once you get into it, you just keep spending it. It's very expensive. In our two rigs, we've got over $70,000 in it. Some racers go and some racers blow with gear shattering, axle swapping power.